So what is the best way to contact a prior owner for a vehicle? Let's say you bought a car and you didn't get a title and you need to get in touch with the prior owner to get some paperwork signed or a duplicate title signed. How do you contact them? Well, in our experience, the best way to contact that person is by postal mail. If you try to call them, if you try to Facebook them, they may look at that as kind of an intrusion of their privacy. Sometimes it's kind of a, an awkward situation. But if you send them a letter using postal mail, requesting that they help you out and including in that letter a copy of the form they need to sign. Don't leave it up to that person to have to find the right form to fill it out and everything else. Get the form that they need to sign, fill it all in with their information on it and just put a little arrow where they need to sign. Put an envelope in it for them to mail it back to you. You will get much more frequency of response and assistance if you make it easy for the person. If you just call them up and say, hey, I got this car, get me a lost title, more than likely, they're either gonna tell you they're not gonna do it or they might tell you they will do it and then never follow through. Because nobody wants to deal with DMV, nobody wants to find these forms, nobody wants to even find an envelope and a stamp. So if you go through the process of getting everything and putting on a silver platter for that person to help you, along with a very nice letter requesting their assistance and reminding them that until the car's transferred to your name, that anything that comes up on the car is gonna fall back on them. If the car's impounded, if it's towed, if it gets storage fees, the first person anybody is gonna call is them, just like you did. The DMV is gonna have that information on file. So when you contact a prior owner, first of all, make it non-threatening. Don't make a phone call that maybe sounds weird to them or they don't know who you are. Um, make it by postal mail. So they get a letter, they can process it and read it at their own convenience. They can think about it a little bit and make, it, make it, um, an attempt to help you without being feeling like they're boxed into a corner. We have a sample letter on our website, cartitles.com, that you can download and use for uh, an example to send to them. But make it easy. Put an envelope in it, put their address on it to send it back to you, put a stamp on it. Because think about it, sometimes for a person to help you, you don't want to have a 40 or 50 cent stamp be the reason they don't send it back. Don't leave it up to them to have to find one. Do everything for them on a kid glove platter. If for some reason it needs to be notarized, you can even find a mobile notary that can meet them somewhere. If you're having trouble getting a title, make it easy for the people that can help you to assist you to get that title in your name.